Those. Uh, the sweet, the sweet, sweet plantains. We have our food here. Man, this this looks so good. This is the dessert, the dessert tray. It's uh, maíz, maíz frito, for uh, a comer. Uh, and uh, what's what? Uh, ¿Qué es esto? El verde salsa. Oh, spicy. So they've given us uh, fried fried corn. Dip that in there. Fried fried corn and spicy sauce. Come uh, on. Cancha, 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 cancha y ají verde. Picante. Okay, so they've given us uh, cancha, which is a fried corn, and you dip you dip in the uh, salsa. Sí. Yeah, okay, so all right, we will try. That's it. Okay, so I'm gonna try this fried corn, the con spicy sauce here. It reminds me of. It, it tastes like kind of a crunchy fried corn. The corn is is not it's not too hard. It's nice, nicely roasted, toasted corn, and the sauce reminds me of a kind of a spicy, almost spicy guacamole. It reminds me of eating um, ranch corn chips, ranch flavored corn chips. Since I like corn chips and I like ranch paper corn chips, it's, it's a nice little little treat. So correction on the name. These little roasted corns, crunchy corns, are called conchita. And the green salsa is very flavorful. I think it would be easier with a spoon though. Yeah, I think so too. I guess you're supposed to use your, your hands. That's uh, the sweet, the sweet, sweet plantains. What's it called again? Um, ma, the name? Como se llama? Uh, Alea Mixa. Alea Mixa? Yeah. And and, aroma Salad. And, uh, aroma Salad. Uh, aroma Salad? Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay. We have our food here. Man, this, this looks so good. I'm going to maybe try a couple things and then put the camera down. But I'll show you. This is a... Halea mix is different, different fried, different fried seafoods. This looks like uh, oysters here. Papas fritas? Oh, okay. And ketchup. Okay. And thank you. So French fries. Okay. All right. So let's see. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. Uh, Fried looks like oyster. I'm gonna put some of this. Mm. That's good. I think there's a variety of seafood in here. Some calamari somewhere in here. I'm not sure what this is, but we're going to give it a shot. Okay, look, they got onions and corn. Uh, it looks like some lime in here. In this Miami climate, I think limes would grow very well. Let's drop a piece of lime into the, into the sauce. Let me grab another piece of lime and squeeze it onto my, my fish. Okay, all right, so let's Give that a shot. Let's see. Mm. That was some kind of shellfish. I got some shell. Yeah. Got that. All right. Try the salad. Right. Let's try the salad. Or I'll leave the tomato dipped in the sauce. Hmm. 
That's good. Let me get some of that sauce. Mmm. It's very rich. Um, little, like, I don't know, onions or cilantro or something in that sauce. Mmm. Maybe a little onion. All right. So let's put this camera down here quickly and get busy with this food. Oh, the beverage is, uh, what's our beverage? Passion fruit. Okay, passion fruit, very sweet, and very nice. I think this is calamari right here. We're gonna try that. Trying the calamari. Mmm, I'm a cal calamari lover. This is real fresh and good. Let me try what I believe to be. I think this might be fried yuca. Let me dip this. It's got a potato peel, and it's good in the sauce. These little delicate fried fish balls are very fresh and very tasty. These are good in the sauce and the little fried fish balls. I'm not sure what kind of fish it is. Some kind of, uh, I think the some kind of white beef fish. So this is fried yuca, very good, especially in the sauce. It's good. If you like potatoes, you probably would like yuca. As you can see, I've still got uh, <laughs> food left. I think I'm going to have to take some back to the hotel, the sweet plantain. I shared that with my wife here, and uh, I, I think I ate part of one, maybe. <laughs> it's delicious. It is just rich, spicy, tasty, Peruvian food. And they give you good portions here at Aromas del Peru. Oh my goodness. This is the dessert. Cuatro leche. Cuatro leche. Oh, milk? Milk? Milk. Uh -huh. Okay. de lucuma. Oh, Chique. chocolate? Chique. Chique. Chique? Uh huh. De uh -huh. lucuma, que una fruta peruana. Lucuma. Oh, uh. Chique de lucuma. Que es la fruta? Lucuma es una fruta de Peru. Oh, it's lucuma. like a. Lucuma is a fruit, huh? In, in, Peru, in Peru? Peru. Okay, okay. Oh, that is beautiful. Chirimoya con chocolate y avellana. Oh, chocolate? Okay. Flan. Flan, okay. Suspiro limeño. Okay. It's, it's no alcohol. No, no alcohol in there. No, no. Okay, all right. Que hay de chocolate? What's in this one? What, what's your favorite? What's your favorite? Qual uh, te gusta? Ah, mejor. Okay, that's that's so beautiful, the rose one. Oh man. You take that one? Okay, and I'll. That's that's chocolate. Chocolate, chirimoya, and avellana. Chirimoya? Chirimoya. It's a fruit. It's a fruit? Yes, it's a fruit. Chirimoya. I don't know how to say that in English. But chir chirimoya is a, a fruit yeah, from a Peru? Fruit. Okay, let, I'll go with that one. Can you tell me what's in this one? Chocolate cake. Just chocolate cake? Just chocolate cake. Caramel? Is that caramel? Yeah, we'll say the leche. Okay. And this one is condensed milk, they say leche as well. Uh -huh. They have uh, uh -huh. leche on the, on the top, uh -huh. the merengue, like Italian, like, with red wine. Now, this was plant, uh -huh. four milks, lucuma cheesecake, lucuma is a Peruvian fruit as well. And this one is like chocolate cake. Okay. You, you, you want, want me to get one of these two and we can share that? Okay. And so this is the Peruvian sí. fruit. Okay, so, so get one, two, three. Yeah, tres. To, to go. To go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna try our first dessert from Aromas del Peru. This sort of chocolatey, beautiful flower, rose-shaped dessert. So let's get some of this and give you a quick comment on, I can smell the chocolate on this dessert mm. 
That is good. I think it's like pudding inside and chocolate cake on the, on the bottom. Shot of this. There we go. It's um, almost like pudding-y texture, sweet, delicious, smooth, with chocolate cake on the bottom. And in the very center, there's some kind of a, I don't know, filling. Let's try to get some of that filling. That filling that's a lighter tannish color than the pudding chocolatey stuff around it is even sweet and seems like chocolate. Okay, this is so rich. I need to get something to beverage with this. And I'm going to finish this first dessert here that uh, we got from a Romans del Peru, a Peruvian restaurant here in Miami. Okay, we're going to do a taste test on this dessert from the Aromas del Peru restaurant in Miami, Florida. And that restaurant was a very good restaurant. How oh, the dinner was so good and it was so much. Saved a lot of it and ate it for breakfast and finishing off the desserts. Now, let's see what this is about. It tastes like um it tastes like a strong vanilla taste and the texture is like uh texture is like like mousse kind of like and it almost it almost reminds me of uh filling from pumpkin pie but with a sort of a mousse texture and then the writing chocolate writing things um that say you plus me with the hearts. Those are those are chocolate too. Mm, just regular um regular um chocolatey little thing. I think um the other dessert that was shaped like a rose, check that video out. Um I think that was my favorite. But this is not bad, but that other one I think was far and above, far and away more, much more my favorite. All right.